Hey guys, Capcox here, and it's time for another awesome, awesome action figure review. So, I just actually had a shipment come in of my Marvel Legends, Avengers, uh, Disney Plus wave and everything. So, um, I did order them all off someone on eBay and everything, and I did have to pay a little more than retail, but in all honesty, it only came to about like maybe like five bucks more per figure, so I'm not really too upset with that. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is basically kind of like release these based on kind of, I guess, shows. Yeah, so this one is gonna be like WandaVision focused and everything, so I was gonna release my Scarlet Witch. I mean, I review my Scarlet Witch, and I was gonna review my Vision figures. Um, just thought it was appropriate and everything. I kind of like just like doing that. Um, so I will be doing kind of like Loki probably next because I'm gonna be ending with the Sam Wilson. I mean, the uh, Captain America, Win uh, Falcon, and Winter Soldier wave and everything, um, or figures, just because like I really want to do like something with Sam and his wings. You know, kind of get that all set up and everything. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, cool. So, let's get started. Right, so we are going to be starting off with, you know, I'll start off with Vision, because honestly, I'm going to be really heavily focused on Scarlet Witch, so, you know, kind of want to just get hand one done. So, yeah, these figures are freaking awesome. Oh, so I guess before I open it, just to show you the figure, right, his art on the side, and then it says the Vision. Harnessing the power of density manipulation with computer precision, Vision is a hero who defies the very laws of nature. And true that, he looks so cool. All right, and then on the top, he does have a cool little logo inspired by his head, um, by the Infinity Stone in his head, so that's pretty cool. All right, and I'm pretty sure like all of them have something. Oh, not all of them. I don't know, I guess like they all have kind of like something different in a way, but I don't know, pretty cool. All right. All right. So let's see this figure. All right, and I kind of like how this one is like really kind of like reddish and everything, kind of going with the full like Wanda's power slash TV type of like backgrounding type of look. All right, and just to kind of show you what it also looks like on the inside, really cool, got a deep uh, TV wave. I actually keep this, I kind of like the way that looks. All right, so the first things that we have in the package are piece, two pieces of Sam's wings. All right, so those are pretty cool, awesome, awesome. Loving that. All right, next thing I'm gonna go over are these fists. All right, so Vision does come with a pair of like a whitish gray, um, kind of like fits and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. All right, pretty standard, nothing too wild. There's no kind of like printing or um, imprints or anything. All right, so, ooh. Awesome. All right, so here is the vision. This is actually looking pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't a huge fan of um, White Vision, um, especially in like, the comics and everything. I thought it was just very bland looking. Um, I just love the abs the actual look of kind of like Vision with his um, like pink and green kind of colors, right? Yeah, like, I don't know. I'm definitely more of like probably traditional vision fan even though i do like the way this one does look and the face is pretty cool so getting to the face and everything all right here's a little bit of a better look all right paul bettany there you are um pretty cool oh okay so i was looking at his um so you know for the most part this is pretty much a white figure with kind of like some cream kind of like like milk yeah kind of like yeah cream kind of colored uh pieces which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm happy they did that because I don't know. I didn't really straight up like just like a solid white figure and everything. I thought that's kind of like looks very prototypey. So that really does add a little more dimension and everything, and kind of like helps with that little issue. Um, 
But yeah, um, as you can see, there's a little blue gem in his head. All right, pretty cool. And then his eyes actually do have a little bit of like a paint in them. They have like a bluish gray kind of paint with like a white pupil. Um, it might be hard to see, but you know, it's just interesting. It's cool. Um, you know, we got a little bit of kind of like the cream kind of color in his braces here. All right, it's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I maybe like switch the light over. Oh yeah, that kind of like helped at least define those parts. Yeah, so if you can see with this lighting, so, so much better. All right, so we do have kind of like cream right here. We have a little cream going on there. Just a little bit of like a, a pearlescent creamy kind of coloring going on here, paintwork. Pretty awesome, right down by the feet too. Actually, that's, oh wait, I don't know. It's like, it kind of looks like sculpted, but then there's like also kind of like a white kind of color to it. So I don't know if they spray painted maybe over it or maybe they just forgot to, not sure. But it still looks pretty cool nonetheless. And I mean like, yeah, that head is just really awesome. Now that I look at it. All right, and then the cape is clear. So that's pretty cool. I actually do like the way this looks. That is pretty sick. I mean, um, and it is a much softer plastic. And actually, oh, okay. So it is actually different than the cape. So yeah, this one's a little more kind of like clear and kind of like softer and whatnot. Like I kind of like the way that looks. And then this one's definitely a little more rigid, um, but still cool nonetheless so i don't know they're pretty interesting they both have oh yeah so i guess they are a little bit different there i'm trying to think is this one peg in oh okay no so this one's just loosely on there and then it pegs in the back so that's pretty cool pretty strong right there like that as opposed to this one that's kind of a little different but um yeah so basically let's see going over articulation and everything so his head does go up does go down oh yeah good does go down a nice bit all right when it comes to the arms the arms go up about that much all right there is a little bit of a oh awesome so there's double jointed in the hands all right so they go in like that all right um he does have a bicep swivel so that's pretty awesome all right and his hand does go up does go down and it does a little twist to twist, so that's pretty cool. All right. Ooh, damn, it's a little stiff. Okay. All right, there is like a nice amount of texturing throughout, which honestly, yeah, it's the same as the other figure and everything, so that's always cool, right? It's not like a smooth um, print and everything, and it's really cool. It's really nice. All right, um, going over to articulation here. All right, his uh, ab joint was pretty nice all right goes back <laughs> like really really nice <laughs> like, like dang boy all right um he has a swivel here has a nice little click joint there too which is nice all right legs boop 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 and then down to the bottom of his legs nice little ankle pivot up down all around so yeah this figure is really kind of like like dusty feeling <laughs> like there's a little bit of like that residue it's kind of like on his cape too and it's like it's interesting very very interesting all right um yeah and you know what i'm trying to think okay there's like a little bit of a pivot side to side too so pretty cool all right um uh yeah and then basically let's see yeah i don't know little holes in the bomb too all right spending way too much time on that one i don't know why i repeat this myself like so many times right but anyways going down to the bell of the ball the figure that i was really really excited for the scarlet witch right my little scarlet witch all right she looks pretty cool right um oh god i'm so all over the place right now it's like people in my family are talking i'm not trying to fuck up gets a little annoyed but okay um let's see wanda maximoff's abilities telekinesis energy ma manipulation and neuroelectric interfacing allow her to read thoughts and give her target walking or waking nightmares honestly i wish they would have given her a little description that's a little more kind of focused on wandavision like i don't know the fact that she's now like legit like a sorceress like it's actual magic and everything they're kind of using the same shit that they've used for like the past so i don't know they could have done a little better with that if i'm gonna be honest I'm not saying the bio is like that like that and everything but i mean like i feel like we she deserves a little different of a description nowadays um yeah oh so here are her hands and they are like they're really nice oh my god they're like 
sculpted like perfect i really do like this like translucent pink effect and like i can't it's very fine detailing but like you can actually see like oh you know what i think it's the same sculpt as your hands yeah huh interesting i love this it's actually cool much cooler looking and everything uh, Anyways, here's another little piece of Sam's wings. All right, pretty cool. Um, yeah. All right, so who just gets the little? She just gets the little one piece. All right. Now to the actual focus of. Oh my god. Ooh, I feel so weird. Her gum, her joints are like a little gummy right now, only because like it is like really hot outside right now, and I don't know. I'm like obsessed holy crap this is look this looks like legit amazing in person i'm like so happy right now um ah, she looks so cool all right so here is scarlet witch wanda maximoff the witch the sorceress the reality altering heroine slash possible villain in the future not sure how they're gonna go with her um this is beautiful. This is legitimately beautiful. I'm in love with the costume. The face sculpt is absolutely stunning. Looks so much like Elizabeth Olsen. Oh my god. And the hair, just that whole like flowy effect. It's giving me very like it's giving me very Jean Grey, like Dark Phoenix vibes, and I'm here for it. Like, oh my god. And then the headpiece, right? And the headpiece does sit a little different than it did in the show, but I'm, like, kind of okay with that, like, to be honest. Like, I'm just happy she finally has her headpiece. Her infamous head dress that just basically just exemplifies who she is, and she is, like, the Scarlet Witch. And honestly, I love how WandaVision went about it. Like, I'm trying to, like, figure out if, like... Because it looked like in WandaVision, her, like, headdress kind of crown was made of mystical energy first, and that kind of, like, showed you, like who she is like she's the scarlet witch like she's that that being that of creation this uh, goddess basically you know and the only other person who we saw that had a similar type of effect when she would use her powers was agatha's mother i guess or the head of the coven and everything she had like a cool one too that looked really kind of like interesting and really different so i'm like hoping that maybe they could go into that a little bit and maybe there is like certain reasons why people have these like maybe they're like a high figure or something so yeah i'm hoping they do something about that because that's really cool and i thought that's a really amazing detail all right her skirt is so amazing i'm like obsessed you know it's not like a soft enough plastic that i feel is gonna okay well, you know, we'll go over chicken and we'll figure that out. But it's hard. It's like harder plastic, but it's like a hard soft. So it's like, it's, I don't know how to describe it, but I love it. I actually really do like this. Uh, much sturdier. I anticipate it. Right. But getting to articulation now with this beauty. So her head does look up a little bit. All right. So it's pretty awesome. Um, oh, wait. Does it look up? Yeah. I guess it kind of looks up just a hair. All right. There is like a little pivot as well. So it's awesome. Like, hell no. Nah. Uh-uh, Agatha, you ain't taking my powers, girl. Nope. <laughs> All right, and then she can look down a little bit. Not, like, tremendously, if anything. I just don't want to break it, but, like, honestly, I don't really need her to look down. But, yeah, she can't really look, like, that much around. But, you know what? Fine by me. I'm trying to figure out, like, is that new joint system? Um, but yeah, but anyways, going to our arms now. Our arms go up that much. I just want to be careful because I just saw on Instagram someone's figure broke, like, and I'm not gonna lie, it's like my favorite one out of the bunch. And if that would happen to me, I probably would have cried a little bit. Don't fit, <laughs> maybe throwing something. What? But yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, but now going to let's see her arms. Yes, the arms go all the way around. They are a little hindered by the hair, but I mean you can like move around, you can yeah, you'll be fine. All right, the joints are a single joint, but they do go in a significant amount. So, yeah, they bend in, like, that much. Like, they basically do a, a, uh, the job of, like, a double joint. So, I'm living for that. I think that's amazing. You know, it was kind of, like, a, an illusion at first. I was just like, no, a single joint. And then they were just like, nah, bitch. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> like, girl can cut her own head off. Love it. All right. She does come with those cute little, like, energy pieces that we've seen before. These ones are a little more pink than I probably would have liked, but you know what? They're still cool. They work. I They work. They've always worked. Um, and I do have my other Scarlet Witch. So, I mean, like, my other Scarlet Witch, I think hers are a little more accurate. They're a little more on the red side as opposed to, like, the pink. But, like, I don't know. I glued these to her because I never wanted them to fall off because I've lost them before. So, I don't want that to happen again. And I might do that with this one, too. <laughs> um, yeah. But, I don't know. I still gotta, like, question that and everything. But it's just, her energy just always looked cool on her hands like you can't go wrong this just works with her you know so yeah but okay like going back to articulation though so basically she does go forward not like that much not like much but you know a little bit she does go back a decent amount only thing is there's a little gapping issue that we've kind of seen with a few female figures lately um so about like that much is probably what you're gonna get her to before like things start getting a little wild um you know if it bothers you bothers you if it doesn't you know whatever because i mean i don't know i can kind of get around it. it's not like so bad i mean uh, well, it kind of looks like a pit but i don't know gotta figure that out i guess <laughs> maybe you can like edit it if you want to take photos and stuff but yeah um there is no oh well she can go sideways too just letting you guys know so that's pretty cool all right and there's no gapping that way so that's okay all right there is no articulation here at the waist you know just can't really move around or anything fine by me i'm honestly not a fan of that kind of stuff i think it looks so ugly when they do it so yeah this looks cute all right and then like going to the dress piece this is where we're going to kind of see if articulation is hindered all right, I don't want to stretch the plastic or warp it too much. So her arm, I mean, her legs can go far. Like, I just, it's, yeah, they can go out, like, a decent amount. Yeah, she can do, like, a semi kind of split, whatever. Kind of, legs go more forward when they do that, but whatever. All right, her leg can go out that much and everything. All right, and it barely lifts this piece here so you should be fine like i don't think like i mean over time it might kind of warp it but you can probably just like move it right back and like let it sit for a little bit and it'll be fine um right there is an uppercut or swivel right here and everything so that's cool right sorry i keep like squinting my like eye is like really dry so this one's like really kind of bugging <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's just like annoying um and i'm a little congested so i'm sorry if i like sound a little weird all right, but there is a double jointed knee. All right, pretty cool. She can do those couple flying poses. And then let's see when it comes to her leg. Her leg can point, go up, and it's like a click joint type of like swivel. So cool. All right, so. Let's see. What's next for you, girl? Well, that's it for articulation and everything. But I mean, just going over design again, I guess, like, pant-wise, that's what the pants look like. Pretty cool. We're going to have a little small boot, nothing crazy, no giant heel, which, honestly, I'm fine with. Like, come on, let's let's be honest. Like, if you're a superhero and you're a female, you should not be wearing heels. I mean, the wedges look cute and everything, but, I mean, like, a full-on heel, like, girl, you're just, you're just waiting for your ankle to get rolled. Like, you know? So, I don't know. I'm just obsessed with this look. And this look is freaking awesome. I just think it's such a nice little modern, like, take on her comic costume and everything. And then really just kind of, like, bring it down a little bit. I hope we eventually get, like, maybe a two-pack with, like, Wanda with her hood. And then maybe, like, Agatha, you know? I would even actually prefer it if Sam would have been part of, like, more of just, like, a separate, like, $30 deluxe figure. And then maybe we would have gotten, like, with his wings and everything. And then we would have gotten, like, Agatha as a figure instead or Agatha as the Build-A-Figure would have been really cool. But I mean, like, you know, it's okay. I mean, eventually I feel like we will get Agatha because I mean, come on, like, people love her. The Agatha all long thing that's sold like gold. So I would not be surprised if they released a figure just because they realized how good it would sell. So yeah. Right, so that is Miss Wanda. And I mean, just to give you like an idea though, what she looks like compared to her old figure like i thought this one really looked like elizabeth olsen but this one just really kind of took the cake i mean they both definitely have it like they both are definitely like screaming elizabeth but 
but this one really just up the notch that like photo tech realness kind of shit they're doing is only getting better like the eyes my god look like they were ripped out of a freaking real human being and just thrown right on all right and just to show you guys also like without the energy effects her gloves her gloves look really cool i do like that pretty awesome effect all right now just to show you the other hands The other hands actually do look really nice. I don't know, like, I was never a fan of when people, of when, like, they release, like, um, these translucent hands. Because I'm like, did their hands really become, like, straight up, like, energy like that? Not really. And I mean, hers, she was always, like, looked like she was carrying the energy, not really becoming the energy. So, I don't know. I could have done without it, but, you know, that's that. Still looks pretty cool though. She's summoning that energy and she's ready to like cause crazy shit. Wow. I didn't know who I am. Damn. She's gonna be wild going forward. She is going to be wild. Alright. Um, but yeah, that is it for the Scarlet Witch and the vision peace out guys all right let's get these reviews done so i can get this sam wilson figure all done up and show them to y'all all right peace